Hey guys, this is Brashard with Mind, Body, and Fitness, and I'm happy to be giving you my first weekly breakdown of the Five Year Fitness Journal. Now, I don't just sell this journal; I actually use it myself because I want to improve my efforts, understand where I'm lacking, and where can I do better. Now, the first thing I want you to see is that this book is not meant for you to be perfect, so I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. You're gonna miss some days. That's normal. Last week around this time, I did not fill this out at all. So with that in mind, I'm already doing better than I did last year. Now, what's most important is that you guys don't get overwhelmed because you have a lot of options on what you can track and focus on. And I'm doing just that, focusing on what's most important to me. Right now, I'm tracking my exercise and food, which is obviously very important, followed by my water intake and my hours slept. I do like to track how long I fast, but recently I've been a little spotty with that. Now, I work out a lot, but at times it's hard to keep my workouts balanced and consistent. I like to lift weights and I like to do a lot of cardio, especially because I'm an athlete and I still play sports like flag football, pickleball, basketball, and more. So it's important that I keep my cardio up and I practice different athletic movements to keep my body in gear. With that being said, sometimes my cardio will dominate the workouts, but if you take a look, I have lifted weights the last six days, and if you would like to take a look, most of my workouts are on YouTube. Right now in the weight room, I'm focusing more on reps and tempo, doing three to four sets with my reps between 12 and six reps. Typically, I like to lift weights five to six days a week. I'm also jogging two times a week and trying to do some sprints slash footwork and agility drills at least two times a week as well. Another thing to note is that every week is not the same. Some weeks will be a little bit more chill and scaled back and some weeks will be balls to the wall, pedal to the metal, giving it all I got and going over the top. Also guys, a big thing that I want you guys to see is that I'm being transparent with you. It's easy to show you all the fancy workouts, all the super healthy meals, but I'm human just like you. I like to enjoy cheat meals as well. So you'll see one day I had pizza or one day I had some chips and dip or a cookie. One good meal won't make you. One bad meal will not break you. The biggest thing you need to do is focus on staying consistent. Okay, keep working out. Keep um, keep your cardio up. Make sure that you're predominantly eating good meals, drinking a lot of water. So when you have that one bad meal and you go right back to eating healthy and and doing all the necessary things, your body is going to follow you and and go right back to where you were before that, that bad meal, guys. Okay, guys? So even though, guys, you're trying to improve yourself, get better, do all these things, you can still... Enjoy yourself time to time, guys. Now, this was all I have for today, guys. I will make, hopefully, I will progress and make these uh, videos a lot better. I will continue to share my weekly entries, guys, because I am continuously moving forward. Consistency all of 2023. And I want you guys to see, um, see my journey, see me progress. Hopefully, that inspire you in your journey, guys. So, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time.